Now we're going to look at the testing condenser fan and checking to make sure it's not bad and replacement if necessary. Again, my shutting power off to the unit at the disconnect or your breaker panel and you gain access to your electrical components and that will vary by the unit by the manufacturer, different manufacturers. Then as always, you want to test to make sure the power is off to the unit. And in this case it is. Then you want to begin your uh, testing your condenser fan motor by taking some resistance readings. Uh, you want to first check your run capacitor. Uh, make sure it's good. If your run capacitor is good, then you want to uh, disconnect the wires to your condenser fan motor and it could be two or three or four wires usually and you want to just take some simple resistance readings just put your leads on each one of the motor leads and you should get a reading uh, uh, probably anywhere from 30 to 50 ohms depending on the type of the unit and then uh, then if the uh, resistance readings are bad then the uh, motor should be replaced if you do need to replace the condenser fan motor you usually you have to gain access through the top of the unit that's a matter of just simple removing some some screws And in this case, as well as in most of the cases, the, the motor itself is mounted through studs on the bottom of it. So you take these nuts off and that you can get the motor loose. And uh, you need to remove the set screws and you pull the fan blade themselves off. Be sure uh, when you're taking them off that you uh, notice which way the fan blades are pointing, which way they're curved. Uh, when you go to get a new motor you want to make sure you get the correct voltage, the correct frequency, the correct horsepower, and the, and the right RPM for it. And uh, when you get your uh, new motor it's just basically the opposite of taking it loose. You uh, mount the Stick the motor back on, put the bolts back in her, slide the fan blade back on, tighten back up the, uh, the set screws. And uh, it's simply a matter of putting the putting the unit back inside and then uh, putting the mounting screws back in. Put the wires back on and uh, then you would uh, turn the power back on and uh, test it to make sure everything is working good.